Welcome to Cooking with Lynn. Today I will be making a simple cooking recipe that has long beans and sliced beef. Simple cooking for everyday cooking that you could easily make at your home. Let's get started. This is the long beans. I already cut off the tip on this side and this side already. And after we're going to simply slice, I'll show you how. You want to slice it at an angle so then when you stir fry, the flavor actually go in, in this side, both sides. I will slice it this, cut this way. And it plus it look prettier too when you slice it at an angle like that. Finish slicing and then I'll come back to show you about one pound and a half sliced green bean, like at an ankle. It's a lot, it's a lot of vegetable, it's good. Then a couple of the uh, spring onion or green onion, cut off the tip. And cut, save these and cut the leaf separately into. Then slice it. And just kind of put it in the plate here. Right, could do the garlic. Oh, I need a few of them. I like to kind of beat the garlic so then the, you could peel off the skin so much easier. Uh, take that out. Garlic skin out. We need one more. The more the better. One, two more. You don't have to put the exact amount. You could put more or less to you. But like I said, the more garlic you put in there, I think the taste just make it more flavorful. It tastes a lot better with garlic. Huge difference. Oh, why didn't I beat it? <laughs> I knew that too. It's always harder. There you go. Now we've got about five, six cloves of garlic. And chop it up. At least into tiny pieces. Okay, this is good. I'm going to put that on the side. Right here. Okay, now we got all this. Now we could slice the beef. This my beef here is about one pound and we're going to thinly slice the beef. Cut like that first. Could use a sirloin. This one uh, is the round eyes uh, steak and uh, it's mostly meat. And continue to slice the rest. I think it's better if you slice this way it's easy to eat rather than this way. You know what I mean? Like the strand here. You want to slice it through here. Here. Now that we've done slicing the green beef and got uh, the garlic and the green onion and thinly sliced the beef. Now we could marinate the beef. Um, okay, let's do it together. This is the beef, about one pound and a quarter. One pound, you could put less or you could mar you could slice them a lot and marinate them and then leave them in the fridge. Or you could just slice them just enough for the stir fry of that day, but then 
sometimes when you're working, if you want to slice them a lot and then marinate all at once, because it's always the same ingredient. Um, marinate the meat and then stir fry the meat and then add in the vegetable. So right now we're going to marinate the uh, sliced beef that we just did earlier. Um, so we're going to the, let's use my measuring spoon here. So we need put one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of salt. We're going to need some oyster sauce. Okay, we'll put two tablespoons. And here is the soy sauce. You could use any kind of soy sauce. This kind I want, I like. Put one tablespoon as well. And okay, this is kind of get stuck in here. Out. Okay, we'll put some ground pepper or half a teaspoon. If you like more, you could put more. My kid don't like too much spicy food, so I don't really use too much. And just use a spoon and marinate them. You always have to marinate the meat first before you stir fry it with any vegetable. I find the meat, um, it more fla it pretty much the meat become flavor rather than be all separated. If you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, it looks good. I like to put more vegetable and meat sometimes I marinate this much and I may not put it all I may put only half and then my vegetable like lots and I get to um, eat a lot of vegetable and my kid my kid really like green beans still fried with beef especially my older son my husband too <laughs> we all like my cooking after we marinate the uh, the beef now we could start stir fry the beef and the uh, green bean together Put some cooking oil in here. Oh, my cooking oil no more. I got caps on. Okay, huh? You could use all of all of oil. You use you use normal oil. Two tablespoons. That. it out see oh yeah it's hot now Put the garlic only get that lightly brown before you add in the meat okay now that lightly brown we'll put the meat in that we just marinate I'm not gonna go I'm not going to use all the meat I'm going to save some for next dish Some onion, the onion of it. This is simple cooking for everyday cooking. Nothing fancy. You got the vegetable, you got the meat, protein, the red meat. Stir fry the meat till it like fully cooked before you add in the vegetable. When you marinate the meat and then you actually pre-cook it like this before you add in the vegetable all together, the meat really has flavor. It, it's nicer, it tastes better. Okay. Now we we'll add all of these green beans that we sliced. 
of one pound and a half is a lot of green bean, a lot of vegetables. Lower to medium now, and here is about half a cup of water, and I'm going to put some more oyster sauce. About one tablespoon again. Okay, one light, we want it lightly soft as well. We want the sauce to eat with the rice, right? Some people like to put cornstarch in their cooking. For everyday cooking, like nothing fancy, we don't really thicken. Cornstarch is actually thickening up the uh, the sauce, but I don't, I don't really prefer it. I like it this way. And just kind of rub it off. The spoon here, you don't you want to get it all out. Turn the heat back to high, bring it to boil, so it cooks faster after you add in the water. This one, this dish, you could just eat it by itself. You don't even need to eat with rice if you don't want to eat so much carb. If the carbs are already in the vegetable. Sorry, in the green bean, which is healthier. Low to medium heat and leave it, leave it about five minutes and then you're done. Let me taste this. You taste the sauce and you can tell if it's good or not. Mmm, so perfect. It's ready. It's done. You could add in your green onion. There. Because the green onion, you could add, you always add the green onion last because it doesn't take long to cook the green onion. stir fry green bean turn off the heat and it's still hot and then it all even if you turn it off it's uh, even even if you turn it off it's still cooking the green bean so the green the green bean is going to even get softer so you want to turn it off right now do five minutes of cooking it got some rice here tender now some green bean really crunchy mm, very good let me try to use a chopstick to pick up the rice. Look at that. Wow, so yummy. Using the 
chopstick again. Pick up the rice. Oh, maybe not so lucky this time. Oh, I got it. Some rice. That's good. I hope you enjoy the recipe. Um, it just tastes really crunchy, good, flavorful. You could try this simple, simple recipe for everyday cooking. You're gonna enjoy it. You can make this at your at your home. Thank you for watching.